In this lecture, we're going to learn about the incompletion log. So in this lecture, we'll just look at the brief overview about what is the incompletion log. And in the next video, I'll be talking about the customizing. So the topics we'll be covering, they are what is the incompletion log, the different levels of the incompletion orders, and list of the how we can find a report or the list how we can list all the incomplete orders in the system and incompletion log setup what are the different options for that so first we start with what is incompletion log now if you remember in previous videos many times when we created a sales document whether it's a sales order or inquiry or maybe sales quotation so in these sales documents you might have seen a message like this where when we try to save the sales order or the sales document system will pop up this message and saying that document is incomplete and there's some specific fields that system will be asking us to complete before saving you can still save it but it will be saved as a as an incomplete document but what we do we click on the edit icon here that you can see here I edit icon and that will further pop up a screen something like this where system will ask me that these are the missing fields you need to enter the data for these fields so this is called the incompletion log and there are some mandatory fields that must be entered in order to process the order what are those in what are those mandatory fields let's let's for example it can be in quote terms it, it can be payment terms so payment terms will be used in the billing document in quote terms etc uh, shipping point we need obviously because uh, in order to create the delivery document we need the plant as well we need the shipping point as well so there's some mandatory data and also one of the mandatory does like pricing there must be a price so if this data is there then only system will be able to process your sales order and create the following documents like delivery document and the billing document so let me quickly show you in the system and then we'll come back so if I go to the system if I try to create a sales order say VA01 order type OR enter I'll enter my my favorite sold to party and here you can see when I just cl uh, clicked on um, I just press enter after entering the sold to party systems is now showing me a warning message enter customer reference if I click on the warning message you'll be able to see the detailed message and this is just a warning any warning which is yellow color warning you can press enter and ignore and continue this is also a part of the incompletion log that I will discuss in the customizing I can press enter I can ignore it and say if I enter say drum 80 press enter and then I can enter quantity say one another press enter and just continue and if I try to save it if the data is complete system will system will be happy if not let me see manually first before I save it if I go to incompletion log something is missing here so for example if I still try to save it system is showing me this pop up saying either I can save it or I can edit then save even if I save it depending on what data is missing system won't be creating the following documents in that case now what are those documents that we'll discuss later on but for now i'll click on edit and i can select one field or i can click on this little icon select all and complete the data for example customer reference which is a purchase order number you can say test 111 and i can click on this arrow edit next data icon and there's a wait weight is not there as well so i can enter the weight as well weight is basically coming from your your material master data click continue and saying shipping point is missing as well shipping shipping point should be determined automatically but will you can see there's something missing in the material code the system is not able to find the right shipping point if i go back if i go back again still try to save it there's still again I can click on edit and saying shipping point is missing so this way uh, obviously your master data should be set up correctly and the customizing should be in place in order to complete this 
for example shipping point here if i enter the shipping point as sds4 system is not accepting it because there must be some incorrect data set up in the customizing or something that we want to look at so that's how the system let me close it so what i will do i will just remove the shipping point i go back and just try to save it as it is if i save i guess okay i still want to save it that's fine system will save it will generate the number you can see order number is 49 generated i can click on display and that's the order number 49 i just created i can anytime i can come back i can click on v i can go to vs02 and i can see the order again i can go to incompletion log and i can fix it whatever the missing data was so that's the incompletion log now incompletion log has different levels that i'll be talking in a minute but there's some in standard system there are already some fields that are there that system is prompting that we have seen many times before and now that some fields are important and if they are missing then system will be prompting us to enter those data and then uh, then will be able to proceed further now the, there are some standard fields but depending on the business requirements if a business wants some some different fields which is not there in the standard customizing for example let's say talk about uh, let's pick something for example let's say if the in my company custom material number is mandatory then i can make this field mandatory in the customizing for incompletion log that means if this is missing then system will be asking us to enter the data so that will discuss in the customizing part in the next video and for now we'll continue with this one so this is your incompletion log list of incomplete order now what if you if like as a as a as a end user in sap or maybe you're working as a somebody working as a sale, customer service or sales manager they need to see all the incomplete complete sales order in the system maybe there maybe we got maybe hundreds of customer service people it's a big company and many people are saving the data as incomplete so if we want to see all the incomplete orders then there's some reports for that and there's one of in gui you can use the v.02 transaction to look at the all the incomplete orders and this application as well called list incomplete sales document so let me show you both so if i go to the home screen and i can go to logistics sales and distribution sales scroll down under the information system holders all the reports are there in under the information system so here you can see incomplete orders v.02 i can run that here you can see now so what system will do system will block system depending on the customizing system can block either the delivery billing pricing and no assignment so basically i but you can search you can run this report for everything that you can see here or you can select something whatever you want to see now what these are we'll discuss in a minute so here you can filter for say sales organization created by by default showing me my user id i can say put star star means show me everything and if i run it it will show me all the orders in the system some reason it's not showing anything let me run it again let me do a selection group i'll select 00 299 yes for some reason i don't know why but it didn't like this is the first time i've seen it didn't like the star here so star means actually show me everything so let me run it for everything so i will not put a star here and i just say execute and here you can see all the orders are here so you can see order numbers created by created on and what is blocked for example here you can see um 
in completion one in completion two and so on in completion three so you can see what is blocked like gross weight is not there net weight is not there in that order so if i pick say one order say this one this order so you can see what is missing here i can scroll to right and i can see that i can click on this more icon and it will show me everything that is missing for this order so here this is also showing me general data is blocked this is showing me delivery is blocked this is showing me billing is blocked this is showing me pricing is blocked from here i can click on any order for example i can click on this order number 16 i can jump to this so it will directly take me to the missing data i can select that click on complete and here i can enter the missing data and i can save it and those orders will be then dropped off from this report or i can if you using fury app then here you can if i search for incomplete if i just search for in complete and here if i search under the application incomplete so here you can see when i search for incomplete the different applications like incomplete debit memory requests incomplete sales contract so if i just press enter it will show me all those application one is for credit memo one is for debit memo one is for contract one is for inquiries one is for sales order without charge there's one for quotation but this one lists incomplete sales document if i click on this one that's probably show you what we need so this is basically showing you all the sales document for example standard order as well quotation as well everything in one report so here you can see for it filtered for my sales organization because that I put that as my default value in my in my Fury application settings. So if I remove it, remove the distribution channel and click OK, then you will see everything that is created for other sales organization as well. So from here as well, I can, for example, click on something. I can select this order number and I can click on that. It will jump to the sales order screen from where I can fix it, come back and that, that order will disappear from that screen. It's taking a bit time, so let me go back. Let me try to open a different order, say this one. Yeah, now good. So here I can say here shipping point is missing. I can select that and click on complete data. It will jump to the shipping point screen. I can fix it and I can go back and save it. So that's how you can fix from appli application or GUI as well. But as S4 HANA is more about Fury application, then obviously if you're using the Fury application, then you need to use that. But this is just for your, your information purpose that this is a transaction. If you if you try trying to troubleshoot something, then from GUI, you can look at it. Now the levels of the incomplete orders. Now these levels is customized at three different levels. Header level, item level, schedule line level. That means at header level, we got a different, we got a separate incompletion procedure in the customizing that we assign at the header level. Header level means the document type. And we got, for in header level, probably we want to make, make the field mandatory, uh, for example, purchase order number or which is customer reference number then item level we got a separate customizing for incompletion procedure which we assign at the item level that we that means item category level for example plant is plant is mandatory shipping point is mandatory etc and then we got another level which is schedule line level which we assign it to the schedule line that we'll discuss in the customizing part in the next video in completion log setup now in the customizing what we can set up is basically for example sales document so when you so when system is doing the incompletion check if everything is okay it can say yes i can save it but if it is saying no this is incomplete data so incompletion dialog can check for example can the document be saved so in the customizing we can maintain that document must be maintained in full then only you can save it or we can say that okay what we can do yes we can save it but what what these these 
follow on functionality will be blocked for example we can say that say that okay yes we can we can save this order but for example sh delivery document or the shipping procedure will be blocked or we can say okay shipping you can do but billing can be blocked so this is what we're going to learn in customizing how we can block one part specific function still save the sales order so let's take example here for example this is a this is there in the standard system um, if terms of payment is missing you can deliver the order but you cannot build the order so you won't be able to system won't allow to create the sales or uh, invoice for the sales order but you can deliver the order if terms of payment is missing another example if the purchase order number is missing in the sales order then you can continue to process so this is the customizing there in the standard place that I'm going to show in the next video and as I said if there's some special requirement then we should be able to change it or customize our own way so that's all about this so we learned about what is the incompletion log different levels of the incomplete order how we can list the incomplete orders and incompletion log setup so that's all about this thank you very much to watch this